Welcome into the video, welcome into the channel. Hope everybody's doing well out there. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you four settings that are disabled in the public menus, like the main menu, that you can actually change somewhere else. And the best part is, you don't even need a, a hack into your service menu to do this. You don't need a special program to download onto your PC to make these changes. And I'm gonna add one other here. While there are four settings you can change in another menu that are hidden on the, the main menu, there's gonna be one more that's still hidden everywhere that absolutely should be made available to make changes to. And I'm gonna talk about that in a video. All right, and for the display I'm gonna be talking about today, it's my 77 inch LG G4 with a PlayStation 5 Pro connected to it. Let's go ahead and get the main menu system pulled up and I'm gonna show you the ones I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and press and hold that settings button on the remote. And as you can see here, HDR select mode game optimizer, so you know where I'm at. Let's go to advanced settings. And once I go into brightness, look at all the things that are disabled here. Contrast, black level, dynamic contrast, peak brightness and gamma, all right? Let's go over to color. Once again, you see one right here, color depth, that's disabled. And then as we head on into clarity, pretty much this entire subsection here is disabled besides super resolution. So which of the four settings that I've shown you here that are disabled, can you actually make changes to somewhere else? Here's what you're gonna need to do. You're gonna have to do this through the game optimizer and guys, I'm gonna open this by saying I'm almost embarrassed to be telling you I never noticed this until just now. So I'm thinking there are probably some others out there that have also not paid attention to this. But all those things that were disabled, let's go on into Game Optimizer. I'm gonna mention the four here that are now available. Go over here to the Picture tab, and the four that I'm gonna talk about are gonna be Game Contrast, Black Level, Adjust Sharpness, and Color Depth. All four of these are disabled on the main menu system where you normally would go to make changes. LG, I need to know why they are disabled on the main menu system, but all of a sudden they are enabled on the game optimizer. That makes no sense to me whatsoever. As you saw, contrast was locked in at 100, right? You can't make any changes. So in my opinion, this is where it would be set anyway. But let's say you don't want it at 100 and it's too bright for you in a dark room. In Game Optimizer, you could drop it all the way to zero or you know you can kind of set it in the middle, whatever, whatever works best for you. That's the way it should be in the main menu as well. Black level, same thing. You know, if you're not happy with the black level performance, you want to turn it up, you want to turn it down. You can see how it's impacting this main menu here on Forza. Look at that, as you go back and forth, this is how it should be in all the menus. Like it doesn't make sense to me why LG locks certain menus. They should all be open. And if you wanna screw up your image however you want, that should be your choice. All right, but let's continue. Sharpness, once again, you're locked in at 10 on the main menu. If I wanna go all the way to 100, I should be able to do that. If I wanna go down to zero, which is a lot more reasonable on a 4K image especially, I should be able to do that. For the purposes of the video, I'm just gonna kind of leave things the way they were. And then last but certainly not least is color depth. And one thing that LG kind of takes a back seat on when it comes to HDR gaming is color volume, especially when comparing to things like QD OLEDs from Sony and Samsung. Well, guess what? While you're locked in on the main menu to 55 and you can't do anything about it, now in Game Optimizer, it's unlocked. If you wanna go full Samsung mode, and have QD OLED light colors. I know I'm gonna catch some flack in the comments for that because you know, I'm probably gonna get a comment like, well, yeah, well, what happens when you have all the brightness turned up? You have the game co uh, color depth turned up. You're gonna have some, some color colors being stretched out, right? But guess what? The fact of the matter is, as you could see here, I have the ability to turn this, look at the neon pinks going on here, you know? Does it not look all that great? Yeah, look at the green grass in the background. Would I do this? No, but the fact of the matter is this should be unlocked in all menus, all public menus, and it's not. And this makes no sense to me. I'm actually gonna, just like I said, for the purpose of the video, take it back. I may make a few tweaks here now that I've seen this and paid attention to it. And what's the one that I mentioned that should absolutely be in both the public main menu 
and this game optimizer, smooth gradation. Why is this not unlocked? Now I see the comment over there, it says create smooth color gradients along the edges of the image. This feature is not available while connecting to a PC. Fine, there's not a PC connected here. This is a PlayStation 5 Pro console. And the little icon in the edit inputs menu shows it as a console, so this should absolutely be unlocked no matter what. But LG, why do you have all these locked? Even if you feel like you're gonna screw up the image for what it's supposed to be for HDR gaming by unlocking these, we should have the ability to do that if we want. We paid our hard earned money for your displays. These should absolutely be unlocked. It's ridiculous that you have this menu for clarity and for HDR gaming, you only unlock this one right here. And I showed you in a prior video, when I was doing my settings video on my C3, this was actually locked. The entire menu was locked, I believe. Totally ridiculous. But guys, I just wanted to show that I'm probably gonna get some laugh emojis in the comments because I do so many videos with these LG displays and I just now today, at the time of filming this, noticed that. All of a sudden, those settings that are locked and grayed out, you can't change, and you thought, well, it's all hope is lost for those. They're not. You can just do it within the game optimizer. And while I'm in here, just for the hell of it, I might as well just show you how these things are set up on mine. You know, Forza Horizon 5 apparently is a 4K 60 locked game. So you can see here, 4K res, HDR game, VRR is off. This should have, they should have a VRR mode for a game like this with all the motion. And then 60 frames per second. Uh, we'll just kind of go through here real quick. Input delay, I've toggled this back and forth. The reason why I left this on standard, truthfully, is because when I changed this to boost, all of a sudden I started getting some weird air like pixel lines going on. So I had to actually turn it off. Uh, as you could, let's go down through here. Dashboard, of course, on. VRR, of course, is on. Free sync is off because it's pointless because this is more of an Xbox thing and I sold my Xbox Series X months ago. And 144 hertz mode, I'd love to be able to turn this on. Unfortunately, even though I have the top of the line PlayStation console, it can't do 144 hertz. ALLM, of course, turned on. Find two dark areas is off. Menu color, subjective here. Orange is just random for this video. Uh, you, know, you got violet, of course, you got green. For the hell of it, I'm gonna change it back to the violet for the rest of the video. Um, and let's head on back into picture. And you can see here, I haven't really done anything with stabilizer, either one. Um, go on down. The tone mapping I'm using for my gaming on the G4 is dynamic tone mapping on. That's a conversation for another video that's coming down the road, so be sure to hit subscribe and turn on the bell. Wide aspect, just left it on 16 by nine. Can't do anything with this setting. And uh, this is how you access the main menus quickly from here. And uh, let's go to sound for the hell of it while I'm here. AI game sound is on, haven't touched that. The game EQ is off, it's locked. Atmos is locked, it's off, that's okay because I run all my audio through a, a Sony receiver and a surround sound here in the game room. Sound out, as you can see here at the aforementioned, Arc device is plugged in, and that's it. So this kind of gives you a look I'm gonna pull up the, the uh, dashboard here so you can see here how I have this set up. 4K, HDR on, VRR off, 60. This just gives you a quick rundown of the data that I wanted to be able to see on the fly. For those of you that have just bought LG OLEDs and you're gaming on them for the first time and this might be locked for you, check out one of my other videos. I may card it in. I'm gonna show you how to unlock this so you can quickly toggle through your picture modes here. But, uh, one other quick note while I'm here, might as well, is uh, if, if you don't like the data that's shown in here out of the box, that's perfectly okay, because you can click this little pencil and you can change these suckers out for some of these other things. So, gee, I think I kind of wrapped a lot of things in this one video. So if you enjoy this kind of content, be sure to hit a like button so this video gets circulated out. And of course, if you're not subscribed, be sure to hit subscribe and turn on the bell. But with all that being said, until the next one,